it is hot outside, and I was too tired to do my hair, so that explains the hat. Hey guys, welcome to Why So Curious. It's Mitch, hello. This week I wanted to talk to you guys about movies. Something I love more than a lot of things that I should love a little bit more. As a subcategory of movies, LGBTQ films cover a variety of topics just like our community, the LGBTQ community, includes a variety of people and identities and things like that. These are just gonna be my top 10 in no distinct order. Number one, We Were Here. This movie is a documentary about the AIDS epidemic and it talks from different perspectives and experiences and stories of people who lived and experienced and survived through the epidemic. Um, as well as just talking about their experiences with the challenges that were faced at that time. Number two, Free Fall. This is actually a foreign film, something that I don't typically watch that much, but I ended up just choosing it one day and I fell in love. It is a story of two men falling for each other and the problems and issues that they face, and it's probably one of the most accurate and realistic movies about that sort of topic I've seen. Number three, How to Survive a Plague. This is also a documentary about the AIDS epidemic and it talks more about the activism and the outlash that happened towards public policy and society when they were pushing away the issue of the AIDS crisis. Number four, Brokeback Mountain. Now you might be thinking, oh my god, this is such a cliche. I get it, but I I think that this film is actually one of the greatest love stories ever done on film. It's your basic forbidden love, but it's actually just heartbreaking and, and, and it's so touching and emotional and intense. Yes, it's a cliche, but it's a freaking real cliche and I love this film. I think it's brilliant. I think it's beautifully, artistically, stylistically, just overall an amazing film watch it. If you haven't, or if you're avoiding it because it's Brokeback Mountain, watch it, alright? It's worth it. Number five, Boys Don't Cry. I've watched this movie once and I remember the entire film. Very intense, very dramatic, but in a good way. Very, very deep, very emotional, and very touching. And I think it's pretty good at making people cry. I would watch it. Stars Hilary Swank, who is one of my favorites. I gotta love some Hilary Swank. Number six, Dallas Buyers Club. This is also another movie about the AIDS epidemic, but this one is a film, a motion picture, um, starring actors and things like that, but it's a portrayal of real life events, and it circles around this sort of phenomenon of um, medicinal distribution and how people sort of rose up and took that over and be when the doctors wouldn't do it. Um, it's a really inspiring and really informational and refreshing movie that shows you what people did for others during that time. And it's actually a really interesting perspective, really great acting, great story, um, and it's just very true and real, and I appreciate that in a film. Number seven, Paris is Burning. Watch it. I love this film, I really do. It's a documentary that basically follows the ball scene in New York. Now if you know nothing about the ball scene, watch this movie. It's so enlightening if you know nothing about that. And I actually went to the ball scene a little bit here in Minnesota, had no idea that they did that, and then watched this film and was like, this is what this is, oh my gosh. Uh, if you watch RuPaul's Drag Race, if you have any uh, inclusion in drag culture, there are references to this film all the time, and in just LGBTQ culture in general. Number eight, Milk. I've talked about this movie before. Now, there are other movies that talk about Harvey Milk, but I really like this motion picture that's actually a portrayal done by actors, because it kind of covers everything, um, in the way that it happened instead of talking about it, which makes it a little bit more interesting. Number nine, Pride. It's a film about the gay rights movement in Europe, in the United Kingdom, in Britain, in England, in London, things like that. That area, when the gay rights movement was happening at its high point, that movie covers that. And it's a motion picture, so it's done by actors, but it's, it's really charming and endearing, and it's so real. It's a very good movie, and it's a different perspective that we here in America don't really know or understand or know that much about, so I would watch it for sure. Number 10, Weekend. This is just sort of a classic, new perspective on love. Find each other in an interesting way, and um, it's really cute. It's 
really cute. Uh, I really love it and you kind of just grow attached to this film. So those are my top 10 honorable mentions that did not make my top 10. Beautiful thing. Everybody loves this movie, and I've watched it once. I didn't really pay that much attention. I'm probably gonna watch it after I watch this video. Don't hurt me. The Danish Girl. Matthew Shepard, a friend of mine. I, making this list, realized I have a very narrow variety and selection of movies or types of movies. A lot of my movies are very white male homosexuals. I realized that none of my films have really any reference to gay female, lesbian culture, or lifestyle. And they have very few reference to trans lifestyle and culture. And there are a few movies that talk about that, but, and there's like no reference to bisexual culture either. Um, very little, which is a common thing, which is sad to say, but my selection is very narrow and I realize that. I, I, I want to try and push myself to watch different films, watch films that aren't about people that are like me, about people that are different than me, so that I can learn more and have a, a wider understanding and a wider perspective of things, um, even if it's just about movies, because uh, anything like that will help you, uh, and I it'll just open my eyes to things that I didn't know before. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go watch some movies and enjoy popcorn, have a movie night, maybe a date night, Netflix and chill. That was a little too personal. I'ma bring it down. If you liked some of the movies I mentioned, please don't forget to click the like button down below. If you have some movie titles within the LGBTQ spectrum of films that I have not mentioned that you would like me to see or watch, definitely comment them down below, please. I love movies and I love hearing what other people think is phenomenal and beautiful I wanna watch. So comment them down below. And do not do not, please, 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 do not forget to subscribe to Why So Queerous. If you want to see my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful smiling laughing face every Friday. I love you guys so much. Bam. Uh, and I will see you next week. Bye.